I'm pretty sure you remember this computer from about a year ago that I posted a video testing the sound card that I put in. This one's a Magnavox 386SX16 model number MGP160GY01. This one's a 40 megabyte hard drive, 5 megabytes of RAM total, basically 1 megabyte onboard and a 5 megabyte expansion. As a, a Crystal Labs sound card that I recently added. Well, when I recorded a video assessing the sound card. Also, the, here's a three and a half and a five and a quarter. Well, although I never tested this yet because I don't have any five and a quarter discs. And as you see, I have an AT to PS2 adapter. I don't know if you could see it right there. So I can use my keyboard. And a Felix mouse. Just for space saving reasons. This one shipped with Lotus Magellan with MS-DOS 5. I put in Windows 3.1 later on. So let's put this machine up. Let's go to the BIOS. It was actually pretty tricky to get it to detect the full 5 megabytes because the RAM slot was pretty much beat up. So now it's booting Magellan. And as you will see, it's a factory ship version of it. Basically, Lotus Magellan was a graphical shell. You know, to make it easier to navigate through your stuff. And it also has a complete Lotus Works suite in WordPerfect. As a word processor, the spreadsheet database in WordPerfect, as you can see. Also has a a map, print shop, the t DOS tutoring, so that way you can learn how to use DOS, form filler, <coughs> all this stuff here, and you can see the slogan right there, which which you can see that this was factory shipped. Welcome to the world of Magellan on your Magnavox computer. Smart, very smart. Now let's go to a uh, Lotus Works. Or processing, so you can see how this is like. Let's go to a database first. And as you see, I got the mouse to work. Although I'm not really familiar how this works, but whatever. Yeah, not really familiar with this database stuff. There we go. Let's go to words. And as you can see, this is pretty much a word processor. Still good for a DOS editor. Let me go back to the main program. Spreadsheet is basically like today's Excel. Okay, what the hell is this? Alright, that's a glitch right there. Alright, screw you. Alright, let me exit Lotusworks. Let me go back. No, no, let me get out of uh, Lotus Magellan. Actually, before that, let me show you out of map. Right now, it's, it's showing a map of New York, New Jersey. I mean, basically, good, you know, make. It's like some sort of a navigation system way before GPS came to be. 
or at least when GPS was still in military use or something. Also, I'm still not too familiar with this, but let's zoom in. Oh, if it works. So I pretty much uh, go a little more further. You can see. Now I'm zooming in a little closer. And you see. Now let me get out of here. Oops, let me get out of this place. Yeah, the mouse is a little glitchy. Probably the DOS driver. So I'm going back to the uh, chill. Now I'm gonna get out of uh, Magellan. And and uh, since it does have MS DOS five, it has the shell, which makes it easier to navigate. <laughs> And the good thing about it is full mouse support, yay. Makes life easier. Now to go to Windows. Now the only problem I'm having with Windows 3.1 is I'm having trouble getting the mouse to work. Because I'm not sure if it even installed the mouse driver. Since supposedly to the requirements, it just needs a Microsoft compatible mouse driver. Since it's a serial mouse, and as you see, it has full ma sound support, and as a result, it also has MIDI support. Although I can't really do much because I don't have the mouse, and the fact that I'm running out of disk space doesn't really help at all. So you see, let me play a game of Tetris. F2, new game. All right, enough for a little for now. <coughs> Crystal startup, audio mixer. I can basically record and etc. on this machine. Three D audio support supposedly. Let's see... Uh, accessories... Media player and sound recorder, that's obviously gonna work good. Of course, the Windows clock... Calculator... Or there would've been... Whoa, 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 I think I... Whoa, 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 I sort of did get the mouse to do something. But I don't know what happened, it stopped. That's what I'm saying, I gotta figure out how to reinstall the mouse driver. On 3.1, so I could get a full mouse support and actually show a proper video on Windows 3.1. And I know I'm moving my camera left and right and all. Sound record, I, I could actually use it, but I forgot to plug in a mic on it. No, we, uh. No, actually, before anything else. Built in games, I can't really use them that much because of the. F for the reason that 
I don't have the mouse working yet. There's a little bonus I'm gonna do. I mean, if everybody does this, might as, I might as well do it myself as well. Alright. Let's... And I'm pretty sure most of you remember, are familiar with this program. Because pretty much a lot of people run them to test the sound and the, how the graphics look. I might as well do it myself. Yeah, I think that's enough support. Other than enough demo for now. Hmm. I actually had to buy a box of floppies in the USB floppy drive to actually get it to work. You can see the floppy drive at work. So let's see if this is the right disk kit. Screw you. Here's a game I actually like a lot. Hold on. And I'm sure a lot of you might remember this game. So it's pretty much a Pac-Man clone, which faithfully actually makes the game pretty good. All the total slow, but it still does. Yeah. 
Ooh, look at that. 16 megahertz power. another game oops There we go. Let's see. Now here's the reason why I never did show while I was testing a video card. While I was testing the sound, you'll see why I did not ever show the video. That's why. Now we're booting again to show you another program, just for the hell of it. You'll see the lights of it in action.
Damn it. Oh crap. Ah, oh, crap. You're not gonna get me this- Ah! Damn it, I hate you so much. Son of a bitch. Oh well. Damn physics. I knew I shouldn't have chosen expert mode. Yeah, screw this. And that's pretty much all for this Magnavox PC. Thanks for watching.